howdy. It's time to get back to basics here at the Daily Decrypt. I'm your host, Amanda, and today's episode is brought to you by Dash. The competition among variants of Bitcoin continues, and it's led to a not insignificant increase in Bitcoin's overall node count. Bitcoin Core is down to 87% of the network, while Bitcoin XT represents 10.5, and Bitcoin Unlimited, while still the smallest, has seen the biggest gains at 2.2% of the network. The CEO of Coinbase, Brian Armstrong, recently reported that his company has been operating Bitcoin XT nodes and had plans to launch Bitcoin Unlimited nodes as well. The CEO of BitPay, Stefan Pear, has expressed similar sentiments to Armstrong and is expected to announce BitPay's move toward Bitcoin scalability in a Medium blog post tomorrow. What if blockchains could talk to each other via a single uniting protocol? What if they could transfer value block to block using automated escrow? These are the questions being explored in a project called Interledger, who has released a white paper and a working demo client. The open source protocol has been released by Stefan Thomas and Evan Schwartz, known for their previous work on Ripple and Stellar. A first-time event called the International Conference of Free Software is scheduled to take place in Cuba at the end of this April. The conference organizers, in addition to seeking attendees, are also seeking sponsors to help subsidize the cost of travel of attendees who might not otherwise be able to afford to attend. The organizers report that they won't be offering logo placement in and around the conference, as that would conflict with local legislation, but that they will be offering logo placement on handouts and giveaways, which will be distributed at the conference. Today, Brave New Coin reports that there have been a grand total of 20 Bitcoin-related documentaries published so far. Some sleepers you might have missed include Bitcoins, Liberating Organic Farmers, Bitcoin, the fastest growing money in the world, and Frontline of Bitcoin. The films are reported to be a mixed bag with various thumbs up and thumbs down, and most are available to watch free online. The development of usernameless, passwordless web logins continues with a new player called OneBlock. OneBlock offers a smartphone app which generates a key pair based on a blockchain that users can use to log into websites without having to use any other form of credentials. OneBlock has released this demo of their open source software in action and is seeking new partners for integration. You may remember when Crypto Coins News reported that New Hampshire is the Bitcoin capital of America. Well, that capital may soon be growing, as today the New Hampshire-based Free State Project reported that they are 93% completed in their signers goal. The Free State Project issued a pledge 13 years ago, hoping to get 20,000 people to move to New Hampshire to embrace freer lifestyles together. Once the 20,000 mark is reached, which may happen before the end of 2016, all 20,000 signers have agreed to move to New Hampshire within five years. Early movers for the project include team members from the likes of the Lamassu Bitcoin Machine, Open Bazaar, and Library. Today's episode has been brought to you by Dash a currency which has just open-sourced a roadmap they're calling Evolution. Evolution will support completely decentralized light wallets, which will draw upon the world's first decentralized API for their transaction verification. Evolution will also make payments in Dash as easy as using PayPal, as you'll be able to send to your friends with their usernames rather than alphanumeric addresses. Developer Evan Duffield will talk about all of this more at the upcoming North American Bitcoin Conference in Miami, or you can just read about it at dash.org slash evolution. We're independent members at the LTB Network. Check out our podcast there if you like podcasts. And today's magic word is facts. And I say that because I just discovered today that you can send a fax with Bitcoin at bitcoinfax.net. All that is old is new again. Peace. (laughs) 